for the for the next one hour, it's over the past no. Man, God bless you. Be open your heart. Be expectant. God will move. God will minister. May God's name be glorified. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Lord, Church. Uh, such a joy to be with you all in this uh, blessed evening. Uh, it's always, uh, you know, good to praise God and worship God and be in His presence. Amen. Hallelujah. So I believe this evening God uh, is going to encourage us. Amen. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I want to continue from where Pastor Daniel Moses has stopped. <laughs> Amen. God has a great plan through our life. You are in the plan of God. You are in God's purpose. Amen. So we are in the season of revival. God is raising an army in this season and God is going to exhibit his glory through our life. Hallelujah. So let us be encouraged. Let us believe. Uh, you know, we are in God's plan. And we are in God's season. So let's uh, look to the Lord in prayer. Let's ask God to speak to our hearts. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this wonderful, blessed evening. We thank you for the power of your word. Your word is life. Your word can bring miracles. The word can create miracles for us. Oh, your word will bring outstanding results in our life. Oh, hallelujah. This evening, Lord, we expect the Lord to move in a glorious way. Lord, as thy people are gathered together uh, through different devices in different places, we, you know, we pray that the presence of the Almighty God will speak, minister to our hearts, Amen. encourage us, O oh God. Uh, let us understand your heartbeat. Let us, let us stand Amen for the kingdom of God. Let us rise up as warriors for the kingdom of God in this season. We give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So you are uh, the prophet and prophetess of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So for we should, you know, last the three days, I know the church is already revived. Uh, we are uh, geared up for a, a mighty move of God. Amen. You know, the Bible says creations are eagerly waiting for the sons of God to manifest. Mm. In uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 19, it says, creations are eagerly waiting for the sons of God to manifest. Mm. Is not, the Bible never says that son of God to manifest. The Bible says sons of God to manifest. So we should know we are the sons of God. Amen. Uh, amen. We are the children of God. So, you know, the Bible says, uh, now there is a confusion says, like, you know, it comes in our mind whether, how can we say that we are the son of God? How can we be the son of God? You know, it, you know, it clearly says, creations are eagerly waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. That is very important, that word. You need to underline that. Sons of God has to manifest. But unfortunately, we pray always, Lord, we want you to manifest. We want you to open heaven. We want you to do miracles for me. But do you know what the Bible says? Uh, whatever you construct in this world will be constructed in heaven. You know, this is what the Lord promised to Peter. Uh, the Lord said, you know, it is mentioned in Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 onwards, when Jesus came, uh, down from Caesarea, Philippi, the Bible says people, disciples came to him. And Peter said, Lord, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, you know, Jesus was asking them, sorry, uh, tell me what the people say the son of man is. So they were saying, you are John the, like John the Baptist, you are like Jeremiah, you are one among the prophet. So many things. So Jesus said, okay, let them say what they know. I don't want to know about the information, but what revelation you have got about me? So immediately, do you know what Peter said? You are Christ, the son of the living God. For Christ, the son of the living God. In, in Greek, it says, Atahu hey Masiha, Ben Elohim. Ben, ben means the natural son. Ben means the natural son. You know, uh, immediately Jesus is looking at Peter and saying, Blessed are you, the son of, son of Bar Jonah. Bar means adopted son. Bar. Ben means natural son. Bar means adopted son. See, you are, you are, when he says you are the natural son of God, you know, Jesus says, yes, I have adopted you. No, you are, you are the adopted son. 
We know the privilege, privileges of the adopted son. Amen. Uh, if somebody is adopting someone, everything what belongs to that person should be written in his or her name. So adoption has privilege. We know we are adopted, adopted, adopted to rule, adopted to reign over the situations, adopted to I mean, reflect Christ to our attitudes. You know, that's why we are re representing Christ, means uh, we are representing Christ. Amen. It's not that, you know, whether God will do it for me. Uh, it's not about, uh, you know, praying without understanding our positions. Many times, you know, devil wants us to understand our condition and, uh, uh, you know, make us to pray a prayer of failure, saying, Lord, I'm in my problem, I'm in my situation. I don't know whether it will change. You have to answer me. You need to come inside my problem and take me out of it. But God says, no, I don't want to speak about your condition. I want you to understand your position mm. so that you can change your condition by praying. You can change your condition by sighing. You can change your condition by understanding who you are. You can change. This is why Apostle Paul says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. He didn't say that, no, Christ is able when I pray, he will do it for me. He says, I can do all things to Christ. Christ is in me. I am the hope. I am the hope of the nation. You know, the, that's what the Bible says. Christ in you is the hope of, you know, Christ in you is the hope of glory. In another translation it says, Christ in you is the hope of your glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. That means when Christ becomes the hope of glory, you become the hope of the nation. Hallelujah. So here, you need to understand one thing. Jesus is telling uh, Peter, you are adopted. You are Barjona. You are adopted. And you are blessed are you, son of Barjona. You are Peter. And he says, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hate shall never prevail over it. Upon this rock, what is that rock? Rock is all about the revelation, what he got about Christ. Even upon this revelation, I will build my church and the gates of hate shall never prevail over it. And the next word, Jesus says, uh, I'm giving you the authority, the keys of authority, I'm giving you the keys of authority, whatever you bind on the earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on in the earth will be loosened in heaven. He didn't say that whatever I do, you should do. You need to hear from me, you need to do. He said, you need to operate in a different way. Because now you understand who I am. You have the revelation of me. So I have given you the keys of the kingdom of God. You need to operate it. Whatever you do, be done. Pray that it will be clear to you. Amen. Whatever you say, it will be done. In other words, God says, when you open, God says, amen. When you close, God says, amen. It is not that hearing him and doing it. I'm not saying that we should not hear God and do it. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, you are connected with the Spirit of God. You will do what He wants to do. Amen. You will hear Him and do or execute what we are, we are supposed to do, what we are called to do. Amen. So, uh, you know, everything is connected. We know, you know, this, this is what God, you know, the Bible says, creations are eagerly waiting for the sons of God to manifest. Sons of God to manifest. So this evening, God wants us to manifest. Everybody who's logged in to different devices, you know, this evening you should know, you need to catch this word. You need to start operating in that realm. You need to start operating, you know, by understanding you are the prophet of your situation. Amen. All these three days you were being bombarded with that man, mighty powerful revelations that you have a high profile calling. You have a great calling. You, know, you are called for a greater purpose. A lot of things. Definitely, I believe three day sessions, God have spoken to each and everyone very personally. Why should he speak? Because that is God's plan over your life. Amen. Amen. Why God has given three days prophetical conference so that you will rise up as prophets. Amen. Hallelujah. See, simple example we can take from the life of the lady who was suffering with the issue of blood. How he changed her life by getting into her position as a prophetess. In the Bible says a lady who was suffering with the issue of blood for 12 long years. She lost all the money she had. She was not getting better, rather growing worse. Five things were negative. So only one person. She said, the Bible says, she said, she said, 
is important. She said she didn't, she didn't say what she was experiencing. She didn't say what she was going through. She didn't say what the doctors were telling about her. Oh, she said what she wanted to see. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. She said, if I touch the hem of the garment of Jesus, he didn't say that there are chances for me to be healed. He didn't say that maybe God will rec- Jesus will recognize me and lay hands on me. She was not she was not concerned about it. She was not worried whether Jesus recognizing me or not. She was not even concerned about it. He, he stops me and pray for me. No, no. You know what, what was she saying? She was not even asking the consent of Jesus. She was not thinking whether Jesus would be pleased in my attitude or in what I'm do- going to do. But she said, if I touch the hem of the garment of Jesus, I will be healed. She became a prophetess of her life. Amen. He said what she wanted to see in her life. This evening, are you ready to do that? If you are ready to do that, this very moment, you a, a supernatural anointing is being released Amen. upon your life. Amen. You know, that is that is God's heart. See, God looked, you know, the Bible says on the third day, God saw the dry land. The Bible says, God looked at the dry land. He didn't say, come on, it is dry. He said, new herbs and herbs come out. That's it. The Bible says, new things begin to come out. Right. One side is dryness. The other side, the Bible says, the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Come on, this evening, I want to connect both. Maybe you say you, you, you are going through a dry situation. I wanted to tell you, the spirit of God is already in work. Mm. Even though there is nothing to see. Even though you are not able to see the move of God. Amen. Happening. The other side. Oh, hallelujah. The spirit of God that was hovering over the waters. The spirit of God will not move and over without a purpose. When the spirit of God begins to move, you should know there is going to be a creation. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We should know if the spirit of God is moving, there is, there is a word that is being released. There is a word that amen. you know that is being released over this. Amen. This evening, as I'm, I'm speaking to you, I feel the presence of the Almighty God amen. overing over your life, wherever you are, wherever you are connecting to this word in your home. Amen. Maybe while traveling in your car, the Spirit of God is taking over. The Spirit of God is amen taking over. When you amen, if you are experiencing the presence of God, I want you to just say amen. Oh, if you are able to sense the presence of God over your life, just say amen. Oh, when you respond to the presence of God, oh, you, you can be sure the word is being released upon your li- amen situation. The word is being released upon your situation. If the word is released, it is for creation. The word is released, that is for creation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, that means the darkness cannot prevail anymore. If the spirit of God is prevailing, if the word of you know, spirit of God is hovering over, you need to know darkness cannot prevail anymore. This evening, as you are getting connected to this word, every darkness is disappearing amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything that is not allowing you to see, uh, amen, you know, the areas uh, where you are not able to Amen. See the clear amen, vision about your life. The areas which you are being stuck. Amen. You are seeing only darkness, the dark faces. Amen. You are not able to see through. Amen. This evening the Lord says, no, as you get connected with me, as the presence of God is moving over your life. Amen. Hallelujah. The word is being released. The word is being released. Oh, hallelujah. Even though there was voidness in one side, God did not give up. God says, no, my spirit will over over. When my spirit, amen, move over, amen, it moves for a creation. Oh, hallelujah. The spirit of God is moving for a creation. This evening, he wanted to leave. Everyone who is being connected this evening, get ready for a creative miracle in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Something new the Lord does. Something new the Lord does. Because every day, His grace and His mercies are new. Oh, hallelujah. Everything is new. Everything is new. Come on. Say, amen. Amen. I'm ready to receive that new. Amen. Best thing. The very best thing what the Lord has planned. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The best amen. is coming. The best. Amen. As, as Jesus gave the best wine, best wine. Jeez. I want to tell you something. Best is going to happen. Supernatural things. Finest. Oh, amen. 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 Finest in your famine. Amen. Double for all your trouble. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Job 42, verse 10. The Bible says God gave Job. Amen. Double. 
Amen. So I want to tell you, Amen. I want to prophesy this word over somebody this evening. Double for your trouble. Amen. Oh, instead of shame, God will give you double honor. Amen. Instead of shame, a fame is coming. Instead of shame, a fame is coming. Oh, the favor of God is bringing the flavor out of you. The fame, amen. You might say that you are being crushed. You might say that you are being broken. You are being left behind. I want to tell you, when you are crushed, flavor is coming out. Best flavor is coming out. Oh, hallelujah. In Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus was crushed, Amen. The best was coming out. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. In Gethsemane, we know it, it is, in, in, in other words, it's called as oil trench, where the olive uh, seeds or the fruits have been crushed. The olive fruits have been crushed, uh, not to, amen, uh, destroy it, to bring a fragrance. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. If you say you have been crushed, the devil is trying to crush me. No, I, no matter what, what happens? No matter what the devil have planned. This evening, the Lord says, you are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are coming out yeah, supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Something new the Lord is doing. Amen. I encourage everybody to just lift up your voice, open your mouth and just glorify Jesus. Something is happening. There is a shift in atmosphere. There is a shift in the situation. There is a shift is happening. Amen. The words which you have heard in your life last three days, uh, the prophetical ministry, the prophetical conferences that is being activated. Oh, you are activating. Amen. Some people are seeing visions right now. I know somebody, some people are getting connected with this. You are, you are seeing visions. Visions. Visions about your life. Visions about the ministry. Vision about your church. Lemenia, 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 Dana, Lasso, Reba, Lada, Reb, Lambra, Ladaria, Labasia, Labapria, Lebesia, the Norbos, Ribi, the other, I say, the prophet prophesied whatever God told him. Amen. But, but, but Jeremiah, Jeremiah, whatever he said, God did that. Whatever he said, God did that because he was a man of prayer. Oh, he was a weeping prophet. Come on, receive that anointing. Receive that prophetical mantle in the name of Jesus. Lemene, 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 Leandana, come on. Amen. Some some amen. Some of you are receiving that grace. Of, the spirit of amen, prayer and supplication. That 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 such an anointing is being operating upon your life. Take it in the name of Jesus. Libra, Santini Yandana, Lamasana, Radani Yandana, Resili Bi, Hasoli Ambrani, Adeneli Gasia. Amen. Hallelujah. New things are being created. New things, new things. Oh, hallelujah. There is creations happening. Oh, the Lord is doing that. Where it seems to be no way, God is opening way. God is opening ways, beautiful ways, glorious ways. The Lord is telling me your value will increase. Your value will increase. Oh, hallelujah. Value will increase. Amen. Oh, when the glory manifests, your value increases. God is turning some people uh, as glory carriers for the kingdom of God. Amen. New beginning is happening in the name of Jesus. Amen. In John chapter 11, Amen, verse 40, the Lord Jesus said, Amen, haven't I told you, if you believe, you will see my glory. Oh, get ready to see the glory of the word and believe the word and speak it over your life right now the word is bringing a divine acceleration Amen. as god has spoken over our church this word is being connected with that word with the promise come on receive the divine acceleration in jesus name if you say you are being stuck now the word is releasing you in the name of jesus releasing you to the purposes of god releasing you to the plan of God, releasing you to the absolute goodness of God. Come on, come on, let's, if you can speak in tongues, I want you to just open your mouth and speak in tongues. Amen. Even in this online meeting, some people are going to speak in new tongues. 
I see a mighty anointing falling upon someone. Mighty anointing, mighty anointing. Come on. Just get connected with the Holy Ghost. Through prophetical utterances, the Lord will begin to speak. There is the gift of interpretation. When you begin to speak in tongues, the interpretation of God, interpretation of the tongue will be given. Interpretation of the tongues will be given. Dima ma 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 shemeri ama la khoda rama na gadi lava ro do ro bo shemeri bala gadi ya do ro basra dana da rama na bala rada na ma gadi regalse na ma de ya chuna bas bara de ya den lemeri sila bara ni ya den small ma 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 sudo ro bal kemeri ya den ella resite ni mahazi ya den come on start speaking in tongues just get connected with the Holy Ghost speak in tongues Amen Amen God will give you the interpretation interpretation of that. Libra city, glory, sa dasi, nanti, ra, da, ralke mil, nobrani, lazani abra, raba baba, nobrana, los brale, ebre yadre. God is giving you hand and lifting you up. Amen. I see the hand of God coming upon some people. Amen. You are seeing. Amen. Visions. Come on, get connected. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. If 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 something is happening, you know, if if you are getting a spiritual. Amen. Or upliftment right now. I just want you to just show thumb. I know God is doing it. Amen. You can just raise your hand. I know some people are receiving it. Catch it. Yes. In the name of Jesus. If you're seeing visions, I want to, you know, if God is giving you a vision, a prophetic utterance, I just want to show thumb. Yes. Yes. I know many of you. God is giving a clear cut vision about your future. Future. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of Amen. I know that the, the Lord is giving me God, telling me God is giving you some someone the gift of Amen. Praying. Gift of praying. So the spirit of prayer and supplication is being poured. Come on. Some of Amen. Uh, you know, if you say, Yes, I am that person, I'm receiving that. I just want you to show your thumb. Right now, you are you are receiving it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, get connected with the Holy Ghost. Ah, smala ba, thara ba mana ga, doro bo 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 bo, sebe bela, hazana riya. Amen. The spirit of prayer and supplication. Come on, take it. Yes, yes, brother, that is coming upon you. Coming upon you. Lebrani adana. Amen. Hallelujah. There is somebody who is worried about your prayer life. You say you are not able to pray. Even when you sit, you sleep. You sit down, amen. You, you know, even if you sit, you have a practice of sitting in, you know, in your living room, a living room, and you pray. But many times you, you will just sit itself. You will be tired. Oh, really? You know, amen, uh, amen. I want, I want you to just respond to this, amen. Right now, receive the anointing. The anointing is breaking the yoke in Jesus' name. Ha. Receive a miracle. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, that's you. The power of God is touching you. Touching you. Lebrani asil. Paramani yadana. Lebrani yadana. Shada rada rada. Shbela barada. Yadarada. Rabba hazayam. I see the Lord is touching somebody's uh, amen neck. Uh, maybe you have a spondylitis or something. Uh, this side, you are not able to move. Uh, you have a tremendous triple pain uh, on your neck. Uh, amen. Just keep your hand there. Uh, right now, you're experiencing a healing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The presence of the Almighty God is healing you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in Jesus almighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody who is facing difficulty in breathing. Maybe you have a asthma or wheezing problem or you have, you feel like there is a block inside your north. Oh, right now you are receiving your healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Uh, God is touching somebody's heart. Jesus. Touching somebody's heart. Jesus. There is somebody uh, who is watching me. 
right now you have uh, you know you know god is giving the gift of understanding something you know the i mean the lord says you you have you know you 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 feel like there is is a lock i mean it's like something is being locked you you feel a pull uh you know inside your heart you are being healed right now in jesus name in the name of jesus come on receive your healing rasba halata ramaziya today briyatana lahzaniya dana in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh receive your healing liba hazana ba hazik briyatana you know when 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 i uh, when the lord is giving uh, this gift of amen uh, the knowledge of, of the situations uh, there are some people you are receiving such a grace you are receiving such a grace you are going to and amen amen uh, god is going to use you in that area amen. very strongly come on get connected with the holy ghost you know what the lord has taught you last 3 days it is being activated come on amen take that in the name of jesus receive, receive the anointing baba bata ta sta ta ta ma ta ta ra smara de andana uh amen uh, if you say this word is released over you i know you know there are you know if you say yes i got a word from the lord you can just show the thumb and uh, you know that will give you uh, assurance that yes god is speaking to you amen uh, amen right now the presence of the almighty god uh, is lifting you up lifting you up thank you holy spirit aba hazana adhara mazayadana pavos miliyadana rebriyadana ligas maradiyadana rafa sadara diyadana rasmiyadana the amen the One, 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 one mother who is connected the device hansel it and is here oh the the one who is lifting hands you know there is a mighty anointing over your life you are a woman of prayer amen smala di adana you are a weeping prophetess jesus you are a prophetess in this generation the lord is telling me jesus. you are a you are like a pillar oh jesus come on now god uh, you know you you have a very intimate relationship with the holy spirit ാണ് <laughs> Jesus liberty and the name me and the name new season is beginning libara finish one librani and the name of shamara the other lebes me and the name oh thank you jesus upon that mom there is a mighty anointing coming upon you an under power of god amen receive in the name of jesus amen jesus oh ramasa glory jesus the lord is telling me the tears of hana was not a failure tears of hana was not a failure it resulted in supernatural birthings amen whatever you think it is a failure no it will result in supernatural birth amen jesus alaba alaba shatiri bahalo prani asba hadiya thuro priyadane glory jesus swar And sitting as families, I want to tell you there is a mighty anointing coming upon your family. Thank you. Right now, as you know, uh, if you are sitting together in a device, I want to just hold your hands together with the family. The presence of the Lord is taking over your life. There is something happening, something glorious happening. Mary, Antanasa, Lahaza, Lazana, Labrani, Antane, unbelievable shift upon your life. Amen. unbelievable Jesus. you are experiencing that thank you god yes jesus la pras flabrati asme lebrenia tonosmia in the name of jesus in the name of jesus your voice the lord is telling me i mean the i mean the, there is a shift in your voice Amen. your voice will change your tone will change jesus la ba 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 some families are experiencing a divine joy right jesus. now jesus 
some worries are uprooted in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Lord is uprooting men the worries. Jesus. Sorrows will be turned into joy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing of mentoring is coming upon families right now. Gift of counseling. Jesus. As a family. To heal the broken hearted people. Amen. Isaiah 61 verse 1 is being released over your life. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glorious anointing. Amen. The Lord is telling me before this month end. Jesus. Something supernatural is going to happen in families that are connected with the church. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. The month of April, the fourth month, will go forth. You will go forth. Jesus. You will not be stuck. You will go forth. Jesus. The Lord says, move forward. Jesus. When Moses, 20 lakhs of people, when they were told that it seen, the Lord said, Moses, let two million people with them just move forward. They had a question, what should we do? The Lord said, just move forward. Tell them to move forward. When you move forward, we'll see him and problem being separated. Amen. Mahash, Mala, Dala, Dala, Tharmara, Dana, Ratanasiam, Lebrani Adanamas, Brali Abrebeni Adana, Laba Brabani Adana, Lebrani Adana. Next 11 days, something glorious, supernatural, uh, new things in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We agree together in the name of Jesus, Jesus. as a church for the families in Jesus' name. Ha. Ah. Lebra, Lebrana, Lebrana, Lasrabrana, Lebrana, the Antana, Lebria Smili Antana, Lebra the Antana, Shubara the Antana. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. There will be a turnaround. Amen. You turn. Jesus. Yes. You will have glorious testimonies in these coming days. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the Glory. anointing that is being released. Glory. Precious people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank, Thank you, Father. We give you the glory. Come on. Clap your hands Lord. and glorify Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and say, I am the prophet of God. Say that. I am the prophet am of God. I am the prophet of God. Come on. Say, I am the prophetess of God. Sister, say that. I am the prophetess of God. You are called for a greater purpose. That's Amen. what. That is why the Bible says in Joel 2, you know, I told you, the Bible says in, in Acts chapter 2, verse 17, also the Bible says, in the end time, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. The sons and daughters will prophesy. Prophesy. Sons and daughters will prophesy. So sons and daughters has to prophesy. Come on, say that. Amen. I'm a prophet. Amen. <laughs> you have to prophesy. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what the creations are eagerly waiting for the sons of God to manifest. No, oh, it is it is recorded in Luke chapter 3, verse 38. The last part it says, Adam is the son of God. Now listen to me very, very carefully. It says Adam is the son of God. Then who is Jesus? Now we have a question whether Jesus is God or Son of God. We need to be sure about one thing: Jesus is God. Then who is Son of God? Why did he become a son of God? Now listen to me. Adam, the Bible says in Luke chapter 3, verse 38, verse the last part, it says, Adam is the son of God. Then who is Jesus? Luke chapter 1, verse 32, the Bible says, he will be called as the son of the Most High. He's God. He will be called as. Hallelujah. Why? Why should, he, why should God, Jesus who is God, become the son of God? So that we, the sons of men, will become the sons of God again. Amen. Are you with me? We, the sons of men, will become sons of God again. See, Jesus brought us 
By paying a price, we know it. By shedding his blood, giving his life, because life is in the blood. He gave his life. He gave his blood means he gave his life and he's living through us. So here, we need to understand Jesus, he took a legal standing to defeat Satan. If he defeated Satan, as God, Satan would have said, I didn't, I didn't you know, defeat you. I defeated your son, Adam. So God, Jesus was God, 100% God. He became 100% man so that he can, you know, he can do a perfect exchange so that you know, we, the sons of men, will become sons of God again. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I, I used to wonder, you know, in India, uh, from my place, that is a down south, Kerala, uh, to the northern part, Kashmir, almost 8,400 8, kilometers. Uh, when we travel, it takes uh, 10 days or so, you know, 11 days. When we go through any any route, there are four or five ma major route which we can travel. We can see, uh, you know, useless trees more than useful trees. If some mango tree or a jackfruit tree or some apples, if you find, it is being planted by somebody. It is not just like that it grew. But unwanted trees will grow without, a, without any effort. You know, a lot of you know uh, trees with thorns and thistles, which which is used for nothing, good for nothing, be there in the roadside. How it happened? We know that the land is cursed together with Adam. Adam was cursed. That you know what God said: thorns and thistles will be the result of your labor. Land is cursed because of you. So you and me are delivered by what Jesus have done for us on the cross. Amen. We said amen to Jesus. We became justified with his blood and we received the salvation, we received the redemption. We are redeemed. But the land is cursed. Who is the who is responsible for the deliverance of the land? You and me, the sons of God. This is why the Bible says creations are eagerly waiting for the sons of God to manifest. See, for example, I will tell you. I had a meeting a couple of years back in place called Uttar Pradesh in Kerala, sorry, in India. Uh, in, in Uttar Pradesh, there is a very remote village called uh, Naurangabad. Uh, very interior village. There is no road for workers. Uh, three trucks were taken through the paddy field. Much difficulty. When we entered there, some people came and they, they were uh, hugging our tires, six wheel tires of the vehicle. We thought they are making panja. But for our surprise, they were crying. They said, first time in the history of this village, six-wheel vehicles are coming inside. Six-wheel trucks are coming inside the village for the first time in their life. Yeah. Such, such villages, 20 kilometers, no electricity. We want to see one shop, 30, 40 kilometers we need to go. They, you know, nothing we can see. Only some people are there. 15,000 people are there staying in that village. No electricity, no shop, nothing. But the third day, Lord put in my heart to prophesy over the land. You know what I did? I took the mic as usual. I was preaching. Last, we all said, let's all lift our hands. Let's begin to bless the land. So I started to prophesy. I said, Lord, let uh, schools come. Let new business uh, organization come. Let uh, railway you know, didn't pass through this place. Uh, you know, uh, colleges, a lot of hospitals, facilities come. So, you know, I begin to prophesy looking at the land. After three years, when I met the pastor in that place, he said, at that time, we didn't believe it would happen. What happened? The place called Naurangabad, there is a railway station. Amen. There is not bus station, bus depot is there. Amen. Where the buses can move. <laughs> So what I'm what I mean to say that when creations are waiting for you, creations are waiting for you, waiting for your word. These three days of prophetical conference will be effective when you exercise it. Amen. 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 Or else you can say, yeah, it was a wonderful message. So that's all. <laughs> when you begin to exercise it, Jesus, Jesus will be glorified. Amen. 
they begin to exercise it, yeah. will walk into the very purposes in which God has called him. Oh. Hallelujah. We begin to see the glory of God being activated through our life. Just want to encourage you with a couple of uh, uh, scriptures from the Bible. If you read Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 9, Ezekiel 37, verse 9, it says, then, then God said to me, he said to me, prophesy to the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on the slain that they come to life. See, he said to me, prophesy to the wind. Oh, listen to this very, very carefully. I will never say that prophesy about the wind. Here it says, prophesy to the wind. Amen. When COVID was hitting space, there were prophets speak about, prophesy about the second wave. There were people to prophesy about the third wave. But you know what the Bible says here? You are not called to speak about prophets. You are called to speak to the wind. Not speaking about the situation. I'm not an ast astrologer to say, oh, yeah, this is going to happen. No, you are called to speak to the situations. Amen. God has given you the anointing. No, oh, this season God is raising such people. Amen. If you put a full stop, that will be full stop. If you put a comma, it will be comma. If you put a punctuation, it will be like that. That's what, whatever you, you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Mm. Amen. Don't say that, yeah, let God's will be done. Like God has only one will. It will be executed only through you. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us have the mind of God because you are created in the image of God. Let us understand the heartbeat of the Holy Spirit because we are called to do His will. Amen. When we are sensitive to the move of God. Wow. There we begin to reign in life. Let us be sensitive to the move of God. Amen. Let us be connected with the frequency of the Holy Spirit. Let our ears be tuned to the frequency of God. This evening, oh, let us, let us say, Lord, let me hear from you, Lord. In John chapter 10, verse 14, the Bible says, My sheep hear my voice. It is possible to hear the voice of God. Yes. Maybe you say that, oh, whether I can hear the voice of God. Yes, of course, you can hear the voice of God. But a man and woman who hear the voice of God, amen, and bring the blessings of God upon the land. Amen. We say, yes, I want to hear the voice of God. Just say, amen, Lord, I, I receive it. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You speak to my heart so that I will hear you. Amen. See, now listen to me. Here the Bible says, prophesy to the wind. Amen. I, I believe like, like us, uh, definitely, prophet, I, you know, prophet Ezekiel was shocked. Do you know why he was shocked? Because he know the na nature of the wind. And the Bible talks about the four different types of wind in the Bible. Maybe you know that if you don't know, you can just note it down. You can read it later. First wind, the Bible talks about four different types of wind. One is west wind, south wind, north wind, east wind. You know what is the specialty of these winds? West wind, the Bible uh, it talks in uh, First Kings chapter 18, verse 44. It says about uh, a, there was a small cloud in the time of Elijah. It was, uh, it was visible over the, uh, uh, you know, the, the ocean. You know, the Bible says, uh, then the heavens grew back with clouds and wind. It began to rain heavily during the time of Asia. So what it says, it, it, it comes from sea and it carries moisture, contents to form clouds. You know, that means this west wind, what it does is it brings rain, bring heavy rainfall. And next is the south wind. Look at the 12, verse 55. It says it brings heat. Job 37, verse 17. Job 37, verse 17 also it says, you know, the, in the cooler months, it is gentle, the warm wind. In that time, you know, uh, uh, because of this reason, the earth will be hotter. 
that's what it says that means the south wind will bring heat it produces heat now it talks about the north wind in proverbs 25 verse 23 proverbs 25 23 it says no oh, it will it will it will drive away rain it will drive away rain and next is the east wind in job 119 it says it is a wind of the wilderness or in uh, exodus 14 verse 21 the bible says the yahweh caused you know uh, the sea to go back by sending a east wind all night the first wind that is the west wind it brings dark clouds to bring rain it brings dark cloud second is south wind it bring a no heat third is the north wind it drives rain and east wind it is the wind of destruction or it is uh, it it can divide things amen so here prophet zekiel know the nature of nature of the wind he says lord what do you mean to, what 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 do you mean or what do you want me to do i know about the nature of the wind it will bring heat it will produce rain or it will bring dark clouds you know or you know it it it, it is a wind of destruction but you are asking me to prophesy not about the wind you're asking me to prophesy to the wind you know what god said yes that is the nature of the wind you are a prophet mm. on that is the nature of the problem but you are a prophet you are send inside the dry valley of you know the, the valley of dry bones sorry the valley of dry bones not to say you are inside the valley of dry bones mm. you are being sent inside to say it is a valley of army amen are you with me yes. you are not sent inside the problem say there is a problem pastor there is a problem that i am encountering come on you are sent inside to see i mean give a solution you are positioned inside the problem to give a solution not to tell about the problem we are called to tell about the if you are telling about the problem you are like natural man you are like ordinary people amen you are standing in the midst of the problem on behalf of god on behalf of christ to change the crisis amen change amen the situations amen that's what Lord said to prophet Ezekiel, said to me, prophesy to the wind. Come from the four. No, that's what he says. No, come from the four winds. See, four winds. He says, Lord, if I call these four winds, it will bring destruction. It will bring heat. It will drive the rain. It will bring destruction. The Lord said, Yeah, it was like that till yesterday. But when you begin to prophesy, it will bring life. Amen. It will bring life. I don't know, Amen. Whom the Lord is telling, I don't know, Amen. What type of wind you are facing in your life, but you can control it, Amen. You can control it because you are the prophetess and the prophet of God. You can control it. Come on, God is giving you the grace and authority to control the situations. Situations are under our control. See, I love the way, uh, uh, you know, the, the eagle, eagle is, uh, you know, uh, dealing with the. rains a rainy rainy time when the rain clouds are visible every other uh, the birds will hide themselves but you know what eagle does it flies over the rain clouds what it says i don't worry whether it whether you rain or not but you need to rain under my legs not over my head you can change the situations you can control the situations you can control it. Amen. Because God has given us the authority. That's Amen. why, when 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 God created Adam and Eve, the Lord said, "Rule and subdue the earth. Rule and subdue." Amen. That is, that that is authority. No, you God has given us the authority, power, to and to execute the Amen. The the authority what the Lord has invested in your life. Only you need to rise up and speak, speak life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you know. That's, that's what the lord is telling him guys you know ezekiel i want you to prophesy because i want to know whether you are connected with me if you are connected with the heart of god 
you will not speak like the world speak you will begin mm. to speak as god speaks amen is attitude of god we know that god created heavens and the earth the earth was without form it was void the spirit of god was hovering over the waters underneath there was darkness god saw the darkness he didn't say what he saw he said what do you want to see there mm. amen he he made everybody to see what he was saying he made everybody to see what he know what he believed in his heart for a prophet for the prophetess when you you carry that anointing oh hallelujah let us not keep all these you know notes or all the revelations what you received in the last three days in our brains in our hearts or let's not allow uh, to be carried off by the situations let us begin to exercise that amen let us take it as a challenge let us say yes i'm going to do it speak it over your life speak it over your friends life speak it over your family over your relatives over our church over the situations in these coming days let's see glorious testimonies amen let's not say that let me come and test- testify that god healed me god have mm. given me job not nothing like that something different let yes. us you know exercise that expect great things from god attempt great things for god and next day, uh, sunday come and testify yes this happened god amen. spoke to me i gave this word prophetical word to my you know friend or uh, my colleague or my boss uh, this will change things will change you will see glorious amen miracles happening hallelujah because god has given us the authority to change the situations mm. you know but if you want to change the situations we need to we need to know one thing we need to get connected we need to always create atmosphere you know uh, one more thing i want to tell you uh, before i close mark chapter 5 when we read chapter 5 uh, verse 39 it is the situation of jairus a jairus daughter was at the point of death and uh, she passed away if i was 35 onwards we could hear a uh, jairus getting a evil report saying that uh, somebody came come from his home and said his daughter is no more why you want to trouble jesus anymore and uh, now jesus is looking at jairus and say what he just believe uh just believe fear not just believe and he took peter james and john peter james and john to the house where she was there you know the uh, his daughter was lying was pregnant and says jesus entered the room oh, let me read from uh 37 second let me take the wife yeah Mark chapter five, words thirty-six uh, uh, onwards. We could see, see, and he comes to the house of the ruler of synagogue, and uh, he saw the situations, and and then saw the people who were weeping and wailing. And words thirty-nine, he said, and when he came inside, he said to them, uh, you know, uh, Pastor, can you read this another version? went inside and asked why all this commotion and weeping the child isn't dead mm. she's only asleep mm. and the crowd laughed at him ah. but he made them all leave and he made them all leave he was creating an atmosphere prophesy mm. he was creating an environment to prophesy you know what how he created the environment he took peter James and John inside, and he saw the people who were who were looking at the reality, speaking the reality, or believing the reality, exercising the reality. And you know what he said? He didn't say stop crying. He said get out. Mm. He he made them to leave. He only brought these three guys inside. Who was Peter? Peter is a man of faith. is james he was a man of prayer is john he was a man of revelation so if you want to create an atmosphere you should be a man of prayer you should be a man of revelation you should be a man of faith amen are you with me amen you are a man of prayer you are a man of revelation if you are a man of faith you can create the atmosphere amen atmosphere cannot be created just like that you have to create it jesus was creating that you know that is why it is very important to have good friends 
Hmm. Man, instead of instead of uh, Peter or John, if Judah was there, he he would have asked about money. Will we get some money? If we raise him, raise her, something else. No, the attitude and the you know their his calculation would have been different. But here, these three guys were inside. Let us have good friends who always encourages. Connect with the people who, with the revelation. Connect with the people of prayer life. Connect with the people, men who have faith. In other word, let these three mm. men begin in our life. Amen. Amen. Revelation. Start studying the word. Amen. God will reveal you. God will reveal Himself. When He reveal Himself, you will be revealed. Unless Christ. It is revealed. You cannot reveal. Mm. Amen. The more you know about Christ, the more you know about yourself. Mm. Hallelujah! So when you pray, Lord, reveal yourself to me. Actually, what Jesus is doing, revealing yourself to you. Mm. Hallelujah! So that the real you will come out of you. That's what when uh, uh, you know Gideon. When the Bible says Gideon was a man of fear. He was thrashing the floor. He was hiding himself from the Midianites. And immediately the angel of the Lord came near him and said, "You are a mighty man of valor." This man was turning around and looking where is the mighty man of valor. He said, "No, the mighty man of God is inside you." Mm. When I'm speaking to you, I want that real you to come out of you. Amen. The real you is inside. Allow him to rise. Amen. Let that inner man rise up. Amen. Feed your inner man with the word. Walk in the revelation. Activate. Develop a consistent prayer life in your life. What happens? You can create atmosphere. Amen. You can create atmosphere. You can speak life. You can be a powerful prophet and prophetess for the kingdom of Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. For this blessed day, Amen. Thank you for this blessed time. Thank you for speaking to our hearts. Hallelujah, Thank Father. We know we are the prophet and prophetess for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. We are anointed Lord. for a greater purpose, Lord. As we heard in these three days, critical conference, and we believe and we acknowledge, we understand that you have a great purpose upon our church, our world. Our Jesus. church is connected with a prophetical Jesus. evangelism. Amen. Connected with a prophetical revival. Amen. Prophetical mantle. Yes. Jesus. Father, when the word is released over the church, it is released over the families. Everyone who is connected with the church is connected with the promise. Connected with the church is connected with this anointing. Father, I pray from today they will see that being activated in a mighty way in Jesus' name. Jesus. Let them see Hallelujah. glorious Hallelujah. things. Amen. Let us hear Jesus. glorious testimonies Amen. from today. We thank you for blessing us thank and you. making it a blessing. We Amen. give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen.